This is prime time viewing here in New York. He's brought several blocks of Manhattan to a standstill with the organization of this rally. It's getting a lot of attention, and attention is good with only nine days until the election. It's also a chance to fundraise, and many fundraising emails have been going out. He's also had a fundraising event ahead of this. And I just want to say a very big hello to a special place, New York, and to an incredible arena. Madison Square Garden. Incredible. And then we have all of the people that could fill it up ten times. You take a look at outside what's going on all the way down to the river. And perhaps there's a sense that Donald Trump wants to show he's not done with this city yet. He's become estranged from it in recent years. Uh, he's faced criminal and civil trials here. But here he is back in a pretty strong position, pulling neck and neck with his opponent uh, for the White House, the Democratic candidate Kamala Harris. Now, thousands of people have poured into Madison Square Garden. It's had a capacity of about 20,000. Uh, and a lot of Trump supporters who came into Manhattan today had to be turned away. Some are able to watch this large screen uh, from a pen in front of the building. Others just didn't get any spot at all. We spoke to some of those who'd been waiting for many, many hours for the chance to attend. He loves God. He loves country. He loves our people. He loves his family. He has integrity. I, I want to hear him in person. I, I, I go for all the stuff that he's talking about because those are the things that we're fighting for, the economy, uh, safe borders, security. He talks a lot, a lot about uh, taking on the establishment, which I think is a pretty passionate thing. And uh, but he's also just hilarious. Oh, I think there's more Republicans in New York than we think. Same in Massachusetts. Uh, now, uh, there are also a few people opposed to Donald Trump in New York today, including a political satirist from Melbourne, Australia. He's made the journey here uh, to do his impersonations of the North Korean leader Kim Jong un. He's been running around today uh, with a friend who impersonates Donald Trump, and he's trying to make the point. He says that uh, Donald Trump would cozy up to dictators. Uh, he told us he thinks that a second Trump presidency uh, would be a threat not just to this country, but also to Australia. Donald Trump is a danger to the world, because if he gets into power, people in Australia is going to feel the effects. And that's true. He's going to let Xi Jinping just uh, let, let Xi Jinping walk into Taiwan and he wouldn't defend it. And that's going to have consequences for us as Australians because we will need to defend Taiwan. And Bob, what's the Harris campaign up to today? Well, Kamala Harris is hitting a swing state, Pennsylvania. That's a, considered a must-win state. And she is targeting quite specific groups there. Young black men. She visited a barber shop. And Latinos. She went to a Puerto Rican restaurant. Those are key groups. Uh, there's some evidence that they could be shifting a little bit towards Donald Trump and Kamala Harris in the final days of this campaign, making a targeted appeal to ask them to vote for her.